This installment of the Dr. Airsoft video series is brought to you by Spartan Imports. Welcome to Dr. Airsoft. On this installment, I want to talk about a different safety issue, or at least a safety related concern. Many times when you're playing both in an outdoor field and CQB indoors, you'll have a difference in the velocities that they allow you to shoot at. Oftentimes it'll be up to 400 for the outdoor with your AEG, and only up to 350 on the indoor. Oftentimes this problem is tough because you have to either have a separate gun for both of them or you just plain can't play with your gun in one or the other of the places. There's a solution to this and it's now out there in Airsoft. A few companies, the one I know of for sure is Ares, are making guns with quick change springs that allow you to change the spring without having to break into your gearbox. Now take for example a gun that fires at over 350 feet per second when it's chronoed with a .20 gram BB. You're not able to get into the CQB indoor facility that you want to play at. Now with a gun with a quick change spring like the Umarex HK G36C that is provided for us by Spartan Imports, you can get around this by changing the spring. Let me show you how it's done. To change the spring on the Umarex HK G36C, of course you need the, the spring you're changing into. In this case we want to get a weaker spring so we can get down under 350 and be able to play at this indoor place. What we have to do is get some tools lined up and a large Allen wrench, I'll be using this in place of that, a large flathead screwdriver, and sometimes I'll use needle nose pliers to help with the pins if I'm having trouble. That's it. So first, this pin here needs to be pushed out. Hold your stock once you do that. Take the pin out. The rear assembly here will come out, keep the spring on the, on the guide. Then you have to take out the large screw over the spring guide in the back. And you're left with using the Allen wrench to let the spring out. Be careful, it's under tension. And then switch out the spring guide, careful not to lose the washer, with your new spring. Put the new spring inside. I'm going to take the spring guide, push it straight in, and then once you get past the lip, just give it a quarter turn to lock it in. screw back in place over it. Put back the rear assembly. And there you go. Now that we've changed the spring, we can test it again and find out we're shooting under 350 feet per second. We can take the same gun and play at the indoor facility with a lower limit. I like this because I consider it a safety feature. I consider being able to have limits of 350 feet per second at the indoor facilities to be a safer way of play. And I encourage facilities with indoor CQB sports to have a lower limit of about 350 rather than 400, which is more appropriate for a larger outdoor facility. As always, I encourage you to become a fan on Facebook, although it's not fanning anymore, it's liking something, and it's called Dr. Airsoft, the Dr. Airsoft page. You can also subscribe to the Auburn Medical Group channel on YouTube to see all of our videos. In fact, if you have not yet seen Dr. Airsoft Clinic. Click on the screen behind me and watch it. We also have all of our material at our website, which is airsoftmedicine.com. Until next time, this is Dr. Airsoft saying, play safely. There are a few other manufacturers that make the quick change spring. There's the, yeah, but I don't know any of them.